the winner of a $10,000 prize and a $2,500 grant for his hometown Indiana Public Library, James Alexander Tom. Most of my historical novels are about people who go through tremendous ordeals and then they bring out with them all the human dignity and all the shining accomplishments of their later lives. And to me, that is a, one of the most dramatic things in the world. And so that's what inspires me. To write about the past, you have to go and do things the way they used to do them. Um, for example, you have to learn how to use the tools and the weapons that they used. You have to know what the things were that grew in a vicinity at a particular time, how people earned their livings in those times. And um, in addition to just finding the facts about who did what, you also have to find out everything to be able to describe the whole world that they're passing through. Although I write big, long books about complicated things, I'm really just telling a simple story, and I'm making it as real as possible so that my reader is back at that time looking forward instead of standing here now and looking back 200 years. A lot of people come up to me and they say just the words I want to hear. They say, uh, I felt like I was there. And that's, um, that's because that advice, I took it and practiced it and I would recommend it to anybody else. Write to the people's senses. Because uh, you, you don't want to move just people's eyeballs, you want to move the whole person, you know. My motto is, inspiration is contagious, and that's what we're all here for, we who write, and I thank you very much. It was a dream of my dad's to have an award to recognize authors in Indiana. So I want to congratulate all of the award winners tonight. I want to congratulate all of the authors who submitted work that perhaps this year was not chosen. Um, and I'm so pleased that we can encourage writers and hopefully encourage young people to read and learn. Thank you so much.